What is good, what is good, what is good? It is me, it is I, Mutsu K, AKA DJ Bish Bish, and you know what it is when it does what it does. Today, I have a fantastic video for you. So I'm here with my buddy, Ray, and my little brother, Medeo, he's shooting the video for me today. We're gonna be getting our nails done while I'm getting my nails done for the very first time, guys. I'm excited and I have a story for you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Can't you see? Where's Doro? It is Doro, so I can get to it. Doro, I can't live without Doro. Ah, everything starts with Doro. I'm without Doro. I'm in Thursday. Everybody knows Thursday. Don't pest. No, no, no. So these two clowns are my buddies today. Y'all can go on. So on the right is my little brother Madiwa. If you don't know him, obviously you haven't watched our video together. You need to go back and Woody watch that. Underscore magic. Mm hmm. Your favorite little guy. Mm. I'm married now. Oh my Pinky god. Pinky ring till I get a wedding ring, but Jeez. I doubt that. Talk to me, don't oh, And this hey, fine boy me. is Ray. Uh, show them two hey, number yeah, things. Facts, facts, facts. Two chain Ray, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> All, the the swag. Guys, huh? The All the rapper the swag. Guys. So we're gonna have a fantastic day. We're getting haircut. Well, they're getting haircuts. <laughs> I'm just getting my nails done. Baby. And we are Baby. vlogging. Actually, check it out. So Ray is actually the one who inspired me to yes, do this. Yes, facts. He's they're ugly now because it's been three weeks, but. When I get but them aren't they so out. pretty? So I saw his and I felt like I had to try it. So today's the first time I'm going to be looking pretty. Yeah, fit. Oh my God, guys, the story that I've got to tell you, you will die. I so had to give my brother a moment of glory, you know, a little slow-mo because the haircut was really fresh and um, <laughs> me and my brother kind of force each other to give each other moments so I thought this would be a nice way for me, you know, to return the favor. But he does look good, he looks very good. Nah, I like this new barber, even I'm thinking of moving to him because he's really, now, really good. this fade is what actually made me really believe in this barber. It's just so crisp, so clean, it just looks so good. Nah, Ray look good, he look good. Alright, the boys are done. Mm. Mm? Eh, yeah. turn the things, turn the I, things. I won't eh? talk to them. Yeah. No All right. So apparently you don't talk to these people after haircuts. No paparazzi. We ain't trying to do stuff like that. We are about to get our nails done, guys. You are not ready. I'm about to look bomb. This. Today made me question that thing, you know, with guys, you know, where we, you know, feel so handsome after a fresh haircut. What is that? I feel like my parents have been saying that I'm an influence. But I'm going to go with Ray did it. Oh, wow. So that's where he's getting it. Which one? So there is no electricity. <laughs> um, so we're going to be doing. Do you know what? We're committed. We are definitely getting our nails done. Oh! Goodness gracious, oh my god, oh my god, no, y'all need to recognize this. Hey, oh, I hate us. Hey, I was supporting the haircuts. Uh, you feel yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 we're not no talking about that. Talk about, talk about me. Yeah. Mm, honey girl, honey girl, honey girl. Do not play with me, okay? I'm not your, on your level, please. Huh? I'm not your friend. Anywho, so yes, there is no power, but we have found an alternative plan. There's solar here. The building's not finished. It doesn't matter. Winds, and you know how we do. We'll make it work no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So just now I'm going to be telling you guys about the fight that happened just uh, 
past weekend. I will be explaining my bruises, which you should see as I get my nails did. So, without further ado, honey girl, let's get into the teeth. I was in 20! What's that? When I on my Oh my god! Yes, as you can see, it's very important to take care of yourself. You must make sure you bask yourself in fabulosity. How are you feeling? That's a word. Fabulosity. Oh, yeah. That's a word. Yeah, oh, like yeah. I'm feeling cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now all I have to do is get a beer. And I'm getting a beer. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's young girl and young weed. Oh, clear. You see, show me the clip. Yeah. <laughs> Whose song is that? Uh, too easy. Actually, no. Ray is a rapper. Can you give the people something? Huh? Something. Give them something. Like some bars. Yeah. Is it could be about me. Let's make it that's, special. Well, Let's hear bars about me. Jay no, Cole. that's the point. Ray is about to prove he that's a rapper right. rapper. That's burgundy, yeah. That's nice. it's yeah, burgundy. I was right. Yeah, it's burgundy. I'm getting burgundy. You're right. I was right. <laughs> I right. Freestyle on the spot. So people are feeling proud so because they you know a color. Yeah. I saw his video, his yes. song. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're doing the things, I see you. And how was the song? It was so nice. Yeah, we're getting some feedback. So Ray's going to do a song about me. Oh, yes. what? No one said that. He's going to do a freestyle. That's so much You're pressure. putting pressure yeah. so he fails. Don't no. you think that's back? No, you won't fail. You uh -huh. won't fail. I appreciate anything. You must just not. Boss, right no, now. you're a rapper, rapper. Yeah, you're right. No, she's definitely right. Honey girl, honey girl. But you So today is my very, very first, what is this, manicure? Manicure. Manicure. I, I wasn't sure between manicure and pedicure. So today is my first uh, manicure, and I guess it is time for us to begin the story. So I was in a fight this weekend, uh, my first adult fight. So on Friday night, um, actually not even Friday night, sorry, I, I was working with, with my friend Liz. And then we decided to go have a drink um, at this country club. And a fight broke up in there. And so when that happened, we could finally move to the other, I don't know if it's a pub or, it's not a club, I don't know what it is, but you know, they, pay, they play vibrant music, the kind of things that I like and things like that. Um, everyone I was with didn't want to go there, that kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> It's okay, it's my first time, that's why it makes sense. That's cool. I heard that makes it, it makes them healthier. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Um, and so, we moved to the other pub place, and it was nice, they were playing the music that I like and all that. So when I was there, someone tried to call me, but not really trying to call me, ooh, he was going ks, ks. Yeah, I don't answer to that, who is ks? Who is that? Who is that? My mother gave me a name. Anyway, this guy followed me outside where I was with my friend and we had a few, you know, words with each other and he had offered to hook me up with somebody the last time we saw each other. And so when we did that, um, we went to the car to go and find some rolling paper, you know, for the deeds. We we're trying to have a good time and everybody else followed so when they followed to the car we were now six people in this car my person had a cousin we're gonna call him angus and we're gonna call my person in fact that is not my person what are we going to call this troll tanashi <laughs> that's the first name that came to mind tanashi so tanashi started holding my hand in the car. 
when it was dark and no one could see. But I do remember when Tanisha's cousin Angus tried to say something, he pulled his hand away so quickly. It was so funny, I could not even believe it. So it seemed very down low, closeted. I wasn't sure what's happening. But the weird thing is before that even happened, his cousin had said to me, I can hook you up with him, but uh, you'd have to pay me. And I was like, what? If it's got, you know, those kind of situations around it, I don't want it. And then he said to me, he was joking. When they dropped me home, we fondled and whatever. And when we said bye, Tanasha asked me for like five bucks. And I'm like, cool, is this about money? And he's like, nah, I'm just joking. They said goodbye and 20 minutes later, I called my friend because she was the one who was driving that night. And I asked her if she had reached home. Um, and she said, no, she was still dropping these guys. She doesn't live far from me, so it didn't make sense. And we were coming from the area that they live in. Anywho, they, I called again, and she said that Tanache was saying that he wanted to come back and see me. Mind you, they said bye to me around 3 something a.m. So I just said, okay. I didn't really know what that was about. I thought they wanted us to like have a J together or whatever because we couldn't find the paper earlier. So Tanache came. Alan excited, you know, and at the time I was now sobering up. I wasn't really in the mood for these kind of things. Um, but yeah, such is life you can take. one's going, Tanash is going, ah, Mutsa baby, I missed you, hey, what, what, what. Mind you, I've seen this, I met this person in the bar. We haven't known each other for even an hour. Or maybe it had been an hour by then. So my friend says she wants to go. My friend then says she wants to go. So then she's like, are you G? So then this guy says to me, I really just wanted to see, but I can't stay. I'm like, okay, so why did you come? <laughs> Because I didn't understand it. By now it's almost 4 a.m., you know. I'm like, so why did you come? Just to clarify, I said why did you come because I didn't understand. Because he had no money and he didn't have a plan as to how he was going to get home. And my friend wanted to go home, so it just didn't make sense to me. Like, why did he ask to come back? Ooh, oh my god. I have a mixture of blue and the green, guys. Y'all ain't ready. Anywho, so then... He's going, oh, what's a baby? I missed you. So at this point, I was sobering up. I wasn't really in the mood for all these things. Yeah, like, is this the second color we picked up? Oh. It was the blue, wasn't it? Oh, that's No, it's okay. It's okay. So, anywho, so he's like, oh, I missed you. Why didn't you miss me? Why are you being like this and whatnot? Ah, guys, it was just a lot because I just met this guy at the club. And then he's like, oh, so now you're acting like you don't know me. Yeah, I was definitely that one. You don't know me, all this. And then when I said I don't know him, this man actually held me by the collar. Because I said I don't know him. We are now shouting at each other. Because... What do you think? <laughs> yes, the sun. Okay. So he grabs me by the collar. And then... I just said to him, are you actually manhandling me? Because I said I don't know you. Then he was like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There was a lot of switch ups in his facial expressions. You know, he had this crazy look in his eye that I could not understand. And then now my friend is like, I'm going home. I'm like, ah, oh, no, Les, please don't go yet. You know, let's try to sort this out. Because we're at my gate and this man is now shouting and whatnot. And then he'll apologize and he's shouting again and all these things. He was like, hey, you people think I don't have anything. Because my friend was like, this nigga's on drugs. He's tripping. And for sure he was tripping. Because there was a lot of composure, you know, for like two minutes. And then he would just freak out. And then he'll go back to being composed. It was just a lot. I've never, ever encountered anything like this. 
and the car and start shouting. Hey, I'm not going to turn snatching. Hey, oh my god, guys, I was just weak. So then, at some point, I managed to convince my friend to let him get in the car. We were going to drop him by these shops and he would make his own plan to get there. Because we found him in the club. We had no business taking him back. When they came back, it was the two of them. And I said, where's your cousin? He was dropped off by the brothel. Imagine. Imagine. Ask this man, where do you stay? I live in Sentosa. Take me home. What was your plan to go home before you found us? This is what I didn't understand. And me also, I was now feeling stupid because it was my first time entertaining someone from the bar. I've never ever done that, you know, but I wanted to be more open because you never know what's out there. Huh, did I not pay for it? The argument continues. So then, um, so then on the way to the shops that we said we were going to drop him, he was swearing and poking my friend as she was driving. So she stopped the car and she's like, no, 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 let's sort this out, let's fight. Got throw Sotana right here and there. And then he was like, ah, no, I was just joking. That's a beautiful color. He was like, ah, I was just joking. Now we can't joke anymore. It was just very crazy. Should I put this on? Yeah. Okay. It was just very, very crazy. So we go and park the car by this intersection and she stops the car and she says to him, the shops are right there, you can walk there, the sun is rising, you can make a plan to go home, I'm not a taxi. Which is fair because we didn't know these people. So everything that they were trying to get us to do was just a lot. It was just out of our way, we didn't know them, met them at the bar, it was just a lot. He yeah, we didn't know them like that. I knew the cousin, you know, from one occasion, but like, I didn't know them like that. No. I used to get out the car and he was like, no, you people tried to hook me up with a gay guy and what, what, what. Oh my God, did this guy not switch up even the things he was saying? I'm even just saying it in English because it's so vulgar. Yeah. I, He refused to get out the car. My friend got out the driver's seat and she went to the passengers and she asked him to leave and he refused to. She pulled his arm and he hit her. <laughs> he actually hit her. And in that moment, I went into shock because I could not believe that this guy was hitting my friend over her own car. It was just one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen, witnessed, been a part of. It's just, oh God. And she had just done it because she just wanted me to have a good time, have a day, whatever, because I'm usually on my own. Anywho, the fight broke out and WrestleMania was right there in front of my eyes. I was in shock for like a few seconds and then I went in, out the car and now I was also now fighting. So when I got out the car, she had somehow managed to pull his hoodie and it was kind of over his head and he was still hitting us. So I started hitting him in the back also. Um, and then he started yelling. Hey, I'm not the quads, I'm not the nice soul, which means you're hurting me or you're hurting me or whatever. But he started this fight. As he was saying this, I noticed that he was bleeding from his teeth. I don't even know when my friend did this. Ah, she's a gangster. Me, I can't even do things like that. But she had managed to hit him to, in the face and whatever, and he was bleeding from his teeth. He didn't even stop. He continued. I think if my friend was on her own, he would have actually done a lot of damage. I would like to retract that previous statement because my friend, can, <laughs> she, mm -mm, she's gangster. There was car money in the boot. It was just so hectic. So, so hectic. The fight continues. The car doors open. It had rained. My socks were drenched in water and mud. It was, we, ah, guys, it was just the most ratchet thing I've ever been a part of. Then he starts shouting, Mandibira Mariam. This guy was asking for money. Now he's shouting, Mandibira Mariam. But you see, in those situations, um, it's one of those. How can you say he was trying to make people feel like we did other things or whatever even though no one was there because it was 4 a.m by this time and oh god they started dragging each other to the service station so my friend told me to drive the car and bring the car to where she was by the service station so i parked the car there and he's shouting officer officer this and that now he called up for but he was like no let's go to cops because he didn't get money or anything he was trying to do he only said that because it's not legal there's no lgbt rights here so he knew he could flip the script even though i'd done nothing thank god we had not actually hooked up or anything like that um because they would have just assumed that we had done something 
or that we had tried to force him into something. He starts shouting, hey, Vantabita, hey, there's a gay guy in the car. They were trying to trap me, all these. The story was ever changing. It went from, it was against my will. I didn't even know that he wasn't straight. Now, one, I am so fabulous. You would never be anywhere without me and not know that I'm fabulous. Two, you went to my place and I got dropped off. So you got as far as the gate. And then you get dropped off and you beg that person to take you back to my place because you want to see me. You ask me for money and I ask you what's up with that and you're like, you're kidding. The next thing you start fighting and you start claiming that we stole your money. And then we had you against your will, but it's your cousin who introduced you to me. It was just insane. And your cousin knows you're with me and you don't want your cousin to know you're not with me. It was just weird. It was just the most bizarre things that I've ever heard. And you know, you were saying it in Shauna. It sounds so vile. I even can't say all the things that he was saying. It was so vile. And I remember he said something and I responded and he came running, charging at me. And I thought he was going to punch me in the face, but he actually kicked me by the ankles. He made sure I'd fall. And so I did, and that's how I cut my hands. I don't know if you guys can still see, but I've got another wound there. I was bleeding from my hands. As I got up, he was doing the same thing to my friend and two men were there even trying to figure out what is even happening. So, I kept shouting, Les, Les, let's just leave, let's just leave. This one, okay. All right. I'm shouting, Les, let's leave because me, here you go. I can't fight and I didn't want to be involved in such things. It was just too much for me. And I had thought about this whole police thing because I know someone who got trapped into a situation like that. Mine was different because I didn't do that. But that guy actually had to flee the country because of what had happened. Um, so I remember she was trying to walk away but he kept holding her by the jersey and I called the cops or whatever. He was just trying to get money. And then I said to him, how did you get to my house? And he's there like, you people found me at the bar. Okay, but how? Then he's like, I was hooked up with this gay guy. I didn't even know they were trying to trap me and all these things. So I said to him, who hooked you up? Who's angers to you? And then he says, it's my cousin. Immediately I said to Les, let's walk away. We have no business here. No business with this nigga. It was just so ridiculous. I didn't, I was supposed to see Les the very next day because we were supposed to celebrate someone's birthday, but that didn't work out. Um, I was too sore in the morning. I had so much anxiety by the time she dropped me. It's fine. I had so much anxiety by the time she dropped me. I had diarrhea. It was just terrible. It was really, really, it was one of the most heinous experiences I've ever had trying to just have a date. And I decided that right, right then and there, that day, I would never, ever, ever deal with anybody from the club coming with wounds. How ridiculous is that? It was just too dramatic. So we out show we done. So yeah guys, it was just a hectic night. I think what I learned, you know, is that that dude was just, you know, one of those gay for pay kind of niggas. And I ought to not ever entertain anybody from the bar. All these little <laughs> statements that they said before started making sense. This is my five dollars that they were asking for, all these things. Do not hook up with anybody from the bar. I didn't, but don't even entertain them. That is the moral of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. And until next time, ciao! Yeah, let's get one more. Let's get one more. Yeah, mm. yeah.